Well, hello my little goldies and welcome back to another video. And this one is going to be an unboxing. Oh my gosh, it's here! <laughs> if you guys have been watching my last couple of videos on the channel, you guys know that uh, my husband got me a spinning wheel for Christmas. It has arrived today. I'm filming this on January 8th of 2020. And it's hot off the FedEx truck. Uh, the only thing I did, um, it didn't come with the tape open or anything like that. It came very, very tightly packaged. But um, I went ahead and cut the tape. I have not looked inside the box yet, but I took off the address label and I went ahead and cut the tape. That way you guys wouldn't have to see me do that on camera. But um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and look at this spinning wheel. My spinning wheel is here. Oh my goodness me. It is here. All right, guys, we're gonna open up this bad boy and see what we got, oh my gosh. So the model I got is called the, it's from Spinolutions, which is the company. Um, there's some companies, uh, there's a company called Ashford, there's Shocked, there's, oh gosh, there's there's all different ones, but this company is called Spinolutions. And I decided to go with this company because it's very user friendly and I just, I like the look of them and I needed something as idiot proof as I could get it. So this one, this model is called the Polywog. This is uh, Spinolutions Polywog. And so it's a little tiny wheel. Um, I've seen pictures of it. It's, it's tiny, tiny. And it's got all these different uh, pieces that come in the, in the wrapping here. So we're just going to kind of pull everything out. And, oh my gosh, it does come just very, very tightly, well packaged. So, oh, these must be my bobbins. Okay, so you're going to need something to spin your yarn on. So it comes with two, uh, it comes with two bobbins. Hopefully you guys can see that. These are four ounce bobbins, okay, and so that will go onto your wheel to spin your yarn. It does come with three of them, but I think one is already on there. So, and it looks like it's got a couple of clips to kind of pin down your leader yarn. But anyway, there's two four ounce bobbins right there. And we got a little, we got a little zipper bag here. I'm gonna open it up. What do we got in here? Okay, this looks like, uh, okay, here is my drive band. This is what makes it go. And it comes in this little, little bag here. Well, this is what makes it go. It looks like it's got, uh, it's a pretty long piece. So that's gonna go onto your whorl, okay. It's just a stretchy kind of elastic, well, not really elastic, but it's, it slips over where you need it to go. So I have to, I have to learn how to put that on and set it up. And everything, it looks like it comes in these, these zipper bags. Okay. And this here, in this bag, it looks like there's some paperwork in it. Okay, yeah, that's my packing slip and stuff, and it looks like a couple of uh, looks like a couple of cards or something. I'm gonna have to read those, but it's got my packing slip inside with information which I'm not gonna show. Okay, in here is the. Okay, this little piece here is going to make the the orifice, which is the part where the yarn goes in a little bit higher because this is a dinky wheel. So this is just an, another added piece that's going to go onto it. And it looks like it just screws on with, uh, and it's got another band or something on it. So i got to figure out how that works. Okay. And 
Oh, here is... There's another piece. Okay, looks like everything is packaged up really nicely. Okay, I'm going to open this up. This is like this is like Christmas you guys oh my goodness well this is Christmas but just late <laughs> it is Christmas but late all right so let's see what this part is okay this is the fly Ooh. Oh my lord. Okay, oh, there's the rods that hold the bobbins. Okay, so this is the flyer. Okay, let's see if we can get where we can see. This is the flyer. This is what's gonna spin. This part is what's gonna spin onto your bobbin. And it looks like, it looks like there is one already installed in there, which is good, okay. So there's the orifice right there, which is where your yarn's gonna go. Um, this is what this is what spins it uh, onto the bobbin right there. It's got a leader tied onto there already, which is good. Okay. Now it does have a built-in lazy kate, which is what uh, which is what part of these rods are for. This is where your bobbins are gonna sit, like when you're gonna ply and stuff, like when you're gonna twist two. Uh, Two or more strands of yarn together and I got to figure out how that goes on because I think it's supposed to go on kind of kind of toward the top so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to read the instructions and figure out how that goes but this is what that's what's gonna make it that's that's part of where the magic happens okay all right then Last thing here. Okay, I'm gonna set the box aside. I think this is where my garbage is gonna go in for right now. So right now I'm opening up the bottom part, which is gonna be where the treadles are for your feet. Okay. I don't know if I've ever seen an unboxing of one of these on YouTube. I think I've seen people put them together, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody unbox one. So I thought I would go ahead and do it now. Or I thought I would go ahead and do one. That way you guys can see what we've got. Okay. So, yep, this part is where the big oh, wheel is here. Ugh. And I'm being inundated in bubble wrap. Oof. Okay. <sighs> So this part here, okay, all right, this part here is the actual wheel part and this is um, what's actually going to be doing your, uh, this is where your treadles and stuff are for your, for where your feet are going to go, but let me just let me just hold it up here so you guys can see it. It's, um, this is the big wheel part and this is what's gonna, this is another part that's gonna spin. But this is the bottom part and this is where your feetsies or feetsies and stuff are gonna go for when you're doing your, for when you're doing your, your treadling and your spinning and, and all that. So anyway, um, it somehow fits together with a bolt, I think. That bottom part, uh, affixes to this top part here somehow and so I have to figure out how to put it together but anyway that is what the thing looks like um, I'm gonna I will probably come back um, I'm gonna stop filming for just a minute but I'm gonna go ahead and, and figure out how to put this thing together and I'll come back and I will show you the finished 
product here and uh, and we'll take a look so just give me a minute and I will be right back all right guys we got the thing put together um it's been a few days since I originally filmed this uh, because I've been pretty busy mainly trying to get the hang of this thing and yeah I'm a lot better than I was at first but oh my gosh like I'm by uh, I, I still got a lot to learn but anyway here is what it looks like so your three bobbins are going to sit on this what's called the lazy kate and this is the rods and stuff that um that you get with it and stuff um so um anyway um let me just let me just show you what this is going to look like Okay. Okay. So let me let me show you what this is gonna look like, and I got a big old piece of wool there that I don't want on there. So um, let me let me just show you how how it looks. So the bottom part bolted to the flyer. Okay, and this is what's gonna spin your yarn. We got the orifice riser on here because like if if I didn't have this little piece here, then this would be even shorter and um, I kind of wanted it a little bit taller, so I got that, and it just, it all just kind of bolts together, got the drive band put where I wanted it. This right here is your different whirls, your different speeds, so I got it on the slowest one because I'm still learning, you know, still got a lot to learn, and, um, I tend to over twist everything, so, yeah, um, you get too much twist in your yarn, and you're in trouble, you don't get enough twist in your yarn, you're in trouble, so you gotta kind of find that sweet spot. But let me just show you, um, I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Now, I'm not going to call this a tutorial because um, I'm not good enough to do a tutorial, but um, I'm going to put my bobbin on here, and I got a leader yarn tied to it already. Okay, so um, let's see, uh, loosen my tension. And my don't don't let it bother you. My wheel kind of squeaks a little bit. Uh, okay, there we go. Loosen it up a little bit. You tighten it as your bobbin fills a little bit, and then you you loosen it up it as you as you uh, as you need to. So um, loosen that up. Okay. Now this is where you treadle, right here. These are your these are your treadles. And I, and I got my, I put on some socks. I had an eczema flare up and my feet are kind of all broken out with it. And I don't want to subject you guys to that. But um, what we're going to work with a little bit, and I'm going to make a lot of mistakes along the way, but what, what we're going to do is, is uh, we're going to start with this purple here that uh, if you guys watched my little haul video, then you saw where I got this purple fiber. So... I'm going to twist this up a little bit. Okay. All right. Any guy. Anyway, guys, we're gonna we're gonna try to get this going here. Um, I tried to film this before this part, and uh, I was having I was having some difficulties with the angle, and I don't I don't know if I got it now. I'm gonna have to test it. But anyway, so let me just show you how this kind of works a little bit and I am by no means any kind of expert I am as green as I am as green as the green green grass at home that isn't so green anymore because it's all snowy <laughs> but um anyway this takes a lot of practice this takes a lot of practice to get going and uh, I have been I got this last Wednesday and I have been just really hitting the ground running to, to, you know, try to get, uh, you know, to try to learn how to do this. I've been practicing quite a bit on my drop spindle, and that's going okay. You know, it's a lot slower than, than this, but um, they do recommend that when you're wanting to learn to spin to to um, to do it on a drop spindle first because it's, it's easier to, it's easier to work with. Uh, because this takes a lot of coordination and as we can see uh, let's see as we can see I got a little bit of issue here I got some yarn bunched up here where I didn't want it to be bunched up so I have to fix this I hate it when that happens this happened this this happens a lot 
or it can happen a lot, especially if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and I got some, uh, I'm not very consistent. I mean, like I said, I'm just learning. I am not very consistent at all. Um, I have a lot of lumps and bumps. I have um, just, just a lot of inconsistency here. And when you're doing this, the drafting part, meaning, you know, that you're pulling out the, the fibers to spin, that's the hardest. Um, you have to keep your wheel going and you're, you're kind of drafting it out like that. And you want to try not to hold on to it real tight because otherwise you will get a lot of twisting. And I tend to draft kind of thin, like I got, see that real thin part right there? So I need more, I'm going to need more fibers on there. I don't know, it's like, I've always heard, and, and this happened to me too, that the when you're doing a beginner, like when, as you, when you're a beginner, um, you tend to spin a rope, and I'm trying to get it thinner, but I think I'm getting it too thin. So now I have to let it twist together. You can join it real easily, but I have to let it twist together. Whoops. Go, go the right way. Let it twist together, and then, see, it... And if it comes apart, you can you can you can rejoin it. You can you can rejoin it. Oh, I got got some pigtails. Okay, so I'm gonna have to spin that back up. So when you're if you get some over twist, and if you if you're not careful, you will get. See, I, I held on to it too tight. I'm just gonna let it take up. Um. You get some fuzzies that's kind of hanging off there, and you'll get some pigtailing, meaning that, that you'll get some curly cues if it over twists too much. Like if, if you get too much twist on it, it's gonna curl up on you, and it's not gonna be fun. So I'm drafting my fiber, just letting it come back, and I seem to have a bit of a better luck if I do a backwards pull. Sometimes I'll I'll try to inchworm my way along. And it's best to figure out um, how long your the actual fibers are, um, because that will help you when you're when you're tr when you're trying to draft this. So see, now I'm going pretty good. Now I'm going pretty good, I think. Oop. Give a little bit more. See, now I think I'm going pretty good. And as you get better at this, you're, it's going to be more consistent. I'm just going to let it go back, and I'm going to just kind of pull back on it. See, I'm getting better at this. Like, when I first started trying to do this, like, I got, it got so twisted that it looked like a, it looked like an old telephone cord. But you see how thin that got? Like, I'm not getting real consistent right there, but um, it, it all comes with practice. It all comes with practice. I'm gonna go grab some more, and we'll do a little bit more, and I'll sh I'll show you I'll show you a little bit more. All right, here we go again. So I'm just let's see. I'm I'm just not, I'm not being very consistent right now. But slow and steady kind of wins the race. I'm just gonna let it pull up, and then I'm just gonna. See, when I first started, like, I had a death grip on this stuff, and uh, when you do that, that's how you're going to get your, your over-twisting, and uh, that's how you're going to get your over-twisting, and where it's just not going to be real pretty. Just let it just kind of, see, I got a real twisted spot right there. And see, so you just, you let it just kind of slide Slide through your fingers. Oop. I'm just gonna let that go. See, I'm getting some. I'm getting too much twist right there. Sometimes it also helps to. Uh, that way you don't have to 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 draft at the wheel. It helps to actually pre-draft it, and then you make little pieces of it and then it's a lot easier to to spin okay so now I'm going pretty good now 
I'm getting some pretty thin stuff right there. See? That got a little thin. And when it gets too thin, it'll kind of break off a little bit, and then you can just rejoin it. You just pinch it, and then you just you, you let it twist. And then it will take up. Sometimes you'll get a slub, which is um, a real fat end, like when you're joining it. Sometimes you'll get what's called a slub, which is a, a fat piece. But it's pretty forgiving like these you know these will pull apart pretty easily so you can just you can just um, if you let it just kind of slide through your fingers you're gonna go pretty good and I'm treadling slow I'm treadling slow because uh, if you go too fast then you're really gonna get twisted and this takes some this takes some coordination I'm not going to lie. This takes coordination. And you always want to remember to go in the same direction when you're doing this because if you don't, it's going to come untwisted. So I'm just, you can let it go up and then you can pull it back. See, I'm getting, see, it's getting, I got like a fat end right there. Definitely my consistency needs work. slub right there. See that? I think that's where I joined it and it turned really fat. <laughs> but I'm going to join this short piece right here. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to have to check the angle because I don't know if if you're seeing everything here. So I'm just going to let that twist. I'll grab some more stuff. The bobbins are four ounces. There's some wheels that you can get where they have bigger bobbins or where you can change, you can interchange them. But this wheel, it um, it holds a four ounce. You can get a 12 ounce upgrade, but that's quite a bit more money. And for right now, for these purposes, I really don't need that at this point. Let's go with that twist, catch on. And here we go again. See, that's pretty thin right there. And you want to be careful that you don't get the twist between your, your fingers, like between your hands, because that's, I was running into that issue too, and it's because I just wasn't drafting as well as I should have been. Just let it go up. And see, I held on to it too tightly. Like that. I hold on to it too tightly. Sometimes you get your hands um, too close together. Sometimes you can get them too far apart, and then then you're kind of in trouble. See, I'm just I'm letting it just take up, and then I'm just. And sometimes I like to get closer to the orifice because then I can see a little better. But um, you can also kind of do it by feel. Like these are pulling apart very very easily. Like so, I'm just gonna. Let it take up. See now, I'm, now I'm doing pretty good. Now I'm doing pretty good. So this is your this is your drafting hand, and and this this part here is where you want to hold on to your fibers. It's your fiber supply. Okay. So anybody that knows how to do this, I mean, you know. Um, I'm still learning. I still suck at this. So please don't laugh. <laughs> please don't laugh because, see, I gotta, what I'm, see, I'm, I'm inconsistent right there. But that'll come with practice. That'll come with time. I'm gonna try to fix it. See, that can break off. I'm gonna try to fix it. Get that to join. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm going to pull back on it a little bit because I, I still got a little bit of a pigtail right there. Ugh. 
you see the little curly cue right there sometimes I get that and I I think it's because I over twist it so but this is part of the learning process I'm just gonna if you get that and then if you and then if your yarn breaks then it's gonna get buried up in there and then you're gonna be in trouble See the real fat end right there? I got a real fat part right there, so I'm gonna just gonna take it and I'm just gonna try to let it wind back on without twisting it any more than it already was. All right, we're gonna do just a little bit more. I'm just letting it slide. I held on to it too tightly, just there. Just gonna pull it back. See I got a I got another fat section right there. But this this takes a lot of practice. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not to uh, I'm not just whistling Dixie here. This takes a lot of practice. But um the more you do the better you're gonna get. It's just it's like anything else. You know you just it's a learned skill. That you just you have to get used to and I'm getting better I mean it's a lot better than it's a lot better than it was I'm a lot better than I used to be when I first got this thing so I've learned a lot and it also helped that I practiced on my drop spindle a lot too because uh, you have a little bit more control it goes a little bit slower and you can it's a little bit more forgiving <laughs> but yeah so make sure I don't have any pigtails so if you do it good like if you're if you're drafting good you're not gonna get those you're not gonna get those pesky little pigtails that I sometimes still get okay we're gonna do a little bit more I mean it's a it's fun it's a real you know it's a relaxing medium you just have to get used to it see I'm, I'm drafting a little bit too thin I think sometimes I go too thin sometimes I don't go thin enough and I'm just trying to kind of inchworm my way along just a little bit like so and you can do a short pull like that or you can let it take up and then pull it back take up pull it back take up pull it back pull it back and I seem to have a little bit of, of better luck if I do it this way oops and make sure that you don't let it go the wrong direction because then everything will untwist and you don't want that. Oops. Hold on too tight. See, sometimes like if, if I have a big chunk, it doesn't want to come apart as easily. And then I tend to want to grab and that's what you don't want to do because then you get the over twisting. And I got another pigtail, so I'm going to, I have to fix that. Because if, if, if your yarn breaks and you get a pigtail, um, your end is going to get buried up in there. See how loose that went? I'm going to just grab it. And that's what happens when you're inconsistent too. Like it just doesn't want to. And I'm just going to let it just take up. Just let it feed on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. Okay. And sometimes like if you get some over twisting and you got to kind of take it apart you get a little knot in there and you can you can pick it you, you can pick the knots out but sometimes you're gonna like in, in the beginning especially you're gonna get some waste you're gonna get waste because you don't know what you're doing and you see that got too thin it, it broke apart see that got too thin it broke apart now I could take it um, that mean that means it didn't have enough twist to hold together you got to make sure there's a happy medium here. You got to make sure that you have enough twist 
but you need to make sure that you don't have too much where it's going to coil up on you. See, I joined it and I think it's going to be okay now. All right, so, but that's generally how it works. And when you actually know what you're doing, <laughs> um, it's much better. But I'm still learning, still got a ways to go, still practicing, still practicing, lots of practice. Um, I'm a lot better than I was the first day that I got this because I had, I kid you not, like I had a big old hunk of fiber and it just, it, it totally just twisted up on me. It was like an old phone cord. It just, it was so coiled that it just, it was pretty much unusable. So, but anyway, um, we actually are getting somewhere with this. Not very consistently, but we're, we're doing it. So anyway, that is my new toy that I got for Christmas. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing and just a little bit of how it works. Um, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Hit the like button, of course. And I got a hangnail. Um, leave, um, hit that like button, of course. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think. Subscribe to this channel to see more stuff like this. And we'll be getting back into the coloring, of course. Um, you all have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye my little goldies.